Here is Synthex, a time traveler from the year 2500. Today, I'd like to take you on a journey through time to discover the history of Harvard University, one of the most prestigious institutions in the world. Our journey starts in 1636, when Harvard was founded by the Massachusetts Bay Colony. It was named after John Harvard, a young minister who left half his estate and his library of over 400 books to the school. Originally, the institution aimed to educate young men in the ministry. The 1700s marked the beginning of major changes at Harvard. Under the leadership of President Increase Mather, the curriculum expanded to include secular subjects like mathematics and the natural sciences. The construction of the first buildings on campus, such as Massachusetts Hall, began during this time as well. The 1800s saw Harvard transition from a small, regional institution to a modern research university. The introduction of the elective system by President Charles W. Eliot allowed students to choose their own courses, shaping their academic path. The establishment of professional schools, like the law school and the medical school, further broadened the scope of the university. The early 1900s brought forth a wave of innovation at Harvard. Under President A. Lawrence Lowell, the university implemented the Harvard Plan, which changed the way students were admitted. This plan placed emphasis on diverse talents and achievements, rather than just academic performance. Additionally, Business School was founded in 1908, and the Graduate School of Design in 1936, further expanding Harvard's academic offerings. During World War II, Harvard played a crucial role in the war effort. The campus hosted military training programs, and many faculty members contributed to the development of radar and other wartime technologies. After the war, the GI Bill enabled a surge of veterans to attend the university, adding to the diversity of the student body. The 1950s and 1960s were marked by social and cultural change at Harvard. The university took steps to diversify its faculty and student body by admitting more women, minority students, and international students. The Radcliffe College, a women's college founded in 1879, merged with Harvard in 1977, officially making the university co-educational. In the 1980s, Harvard University continued to expand its academic programs and facilities. The John F. Kennedy School of Government, now known as the Harvard Kennedy School, was established in 1980. It aimed to train the next generation of public leaders and policy experts. Furthermore, the Arthur M. Sackler Museum, which houses a diverse collection of Asian, Islamic, and ancient art, opened its doors in 1985. The 1990s saw a surge in technological advancements and their incorporation into Harvard's educational experience. The university began to embrace the digital age by creating online resources, enhancing research capabilities, and expanding the use of computer technology across the campus. In 1991, Harvard established the Derrick Box Center for Teaching and Learning to support innovative teaching methods and promote interdisciplinary collaboration among faculty. The turn of the century brought new challenges and opportunities for Harvard. In the early 2000s, the university launched the Harvard Stem Cell Institute, bringing together researchers and experts from various disciplines to study and develop stem cell therapies. The initiative aimed to advance the understanding of stem cells and their potential applications in treating various diseases and disorders. Throughout the 2010s, Harvard continued to focus on interdisciplinary research and collaboration. The university expanded its research initiatives in areas such as climate change, global health, and social inequality. The WIS Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering, founded in 2009, exemplified this interdisciplinary approach, as it aimed to develop new technologies and materials inspired by biological principles. As Harvard moved forward into the 2010s, the university continued to strengthen its commitment to environmental sustainability. In 2014, the Harvard Center for Green Buildings and Cities was established to explore innovative ways to design and retrofit energy-efficient buildings. The university also set ambitious goals to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and waste, while increasing renewable energy use. In the realm of the arts, the renovated Harvard Art Museums, comprising the Fogg, Bush Reisinger, and Arthur M. Sackler Museums, reopened in 2014. This marked a significant milestone in the university's commitment to the arts, providing students and the public access to an extensive collection of works from various time periods and cultures. Throughout the 2010s, Harvard University continued its tradition of hosting notable speakers and events that enriched the intellectual life of the campus. Public figures, such as German Chancellor Angela Merkel, 
Facebook COO Cheryl Sandberg, and South African Archbishop Desmond Tutu, visited the campus to share their insights and engage in thought-provoking discussions with students and faculty. In the area of scientific research, the university made significant strides in fields such as genetics, neuroscience, and artificial intelligence. In 2018, the Harvard Data Science Initiative was launched to foster collaboration among researchers and develop innovative methods for analyzing complex datasets. The initiative aimed to address pressing global challenges, such as climate change, healthcare, and economic inequality. In the same year, the Harvard Gazette celebrated its 110th anniversary. As the official news publication of Harvard University, the Gazette has been an essential source of information on campus news, research breakthroughs, and university events for over a century. The university continued to prioritize student well-being by enhancing mental health resources and support systems. In 2019, Harvard introduced the Counseling and Mental Health Services Team, dedicated to providing a range of mental health services to students and promoting overall well-being on campus. As we continue into the late 2010s and early 2020s, Harvard University made significant progress in promoting diversity and inclusion. They established the Office for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, which focused on fostering an inclusive campus culture and addressing issues of bias and discrimination. The office worked closely with students, faculty, and staff to create programming and resources that supported underrepresented groups. Harvard continued to excel in various fields of research, attracting renowned experts and fostering interdisciplinary collaboration. In 2020, the university launched the Harvard Quantum Initiative to advance quantum science and engineering. This initiative aimed to develop new technologies based on quantum principles and to train the next generation of quantum scientists and engineers. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, Harvard swiftly adapted to remote learning and implemented safety measures to protect its community. The university transitioned to online courses, limited campus occupancy, and provided resources to support students and faculty during these challenging times. Despite these unprecedented circumstances, Harvard remained committed to advancing knowledge and research in the fight against the pandemic. Throughout this period, the university continued to prioritize its commitment to sustainability. Harvard achieved its goal of being fossil fuel neutral by 2020 and continued to explore innovative ways to reduce its environmental impact. Additionally, they implemented various initiatives to promote sustainable practices on campus, such as recycling programs and green building certifications. During the early 2020s, Harvard University remained at the forefront of scientific breakthroughs and intellectual discourse. They continued to host notable speakers and events that stimulated critical thinking and debate among the campus community. The university also celebrated various milestones, such as the 50th anniversary of the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, which highlighted its dedication to advancing engineering and applied sciences education. In the field of public health, Harvard played an essential role in addressing global health challenges, such as the COVID-19 pandemic. The Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health collaborated with international partners to conduct research, develop policy recommendations, and provide resources to help combat the pandemic and promote global health equity. In the early 2020s, Harvard continued to prioritize diversity and inclusion efforts. In 2021, the university announced a $100 million fund to promote diversity and address systemic racism. The initiative aimed to support underrepresented groups in the academic community, including students, faculty, and staff. Harvard also expanded its global reach by establishing partnerships with universities and institutions worldwide. In 2021, the university announced a collaboration with the University of Tokyo to advance research and education in fields such as climate change, artificial intelligence, and public health. In 2022, Harvard celebrated the 100th anniversary of the Harvard School of Public Health. The school has been a leading institution in public health research and education, with notable contributions to fields such as epidemiology, global health, and health policy. The university also continued to focus on sustainability initiatives. In 2022, Harvard announced plans to achieve net-zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, which included reducing emissions from campus operations, investing in renewable energy, and engaging in research and education on climate change. In the field of technology and innovation, Harvard made significant strides in developing new technologies and startups. In 2022, the university announced the launch of the Harvard Innovation Lab, 
which provided resources and support to student entrepreneurs and startups. Additionally, the university made notable contributions to space exploration and research. In 2023, Harvard researchers contributed to the discovery of a potentially habitable exoplanet, located in a nearby star system. Overall, Harvard University has a rich and diverse history, spanning over four centuries. From its origins as a small theological college to its current status as a leading research institution, Harvard has consistently pushed the boundaries of knowledge and innovation. The university's commitment to diversity, sustainability, and public service will continue to shape its future and impact the world for generations to come. Until we meet again, farewell.